Hi guys, thanks for checking the video out. Steve Buzzer here and today I'm in my house. I'm in my house with my putter. So we're going to be talking how to improve your putting and I want to distinguish between when to work on your mechanics versus when you should just be trying to hold putts. Um, obviously trying to hold putts, that's how you're really going to get your confidence up. But we have to be careful with the confidence because if you try and hold putts whilst working on technique, unfortunately, um, the confidence tends to drop and it, it, I really, really do not like that. So um, first things first, if you feel like you need to work on your technique and that could be working on stroke length, could be working on the stroke itself, so that means you might be doing postural changes, um, a few years back, I went from a conventional to a claw. Um, if you're doing something like that, my biggest piece of advice is do not put a hole. Do not put a hole. Just work on the stroke itself. Become accustomed to the new movement. Make the new movement yours and then test it. If you try to effectively calibrate this new stroke whilst trying to learn out how to do it, um, it's not going to go particularly well. So for that reason, and hence the reason I am what looks like pajamas I've realized, I thought it, um, I thought I, I was going for a relaxed look and I just, it looks like uh, fat man pajamas, but um, I digress. But we're inside because if you are working on your mechanics, the best place to do it is indoors. Um, don't go crazy. So doing hours upon hours, no. The beauty way of doing it inside, um, do five minutes a night, here and there, do five minutes. And um, over a couple weeks, you'll really start to take control. Um, I am a big fan of having a potting mat. Um, you can use your carpet. So if you do have carpet, um, you can use that. I just find the roll you get is, um, is slightly better on a putting mat. Um, I was very lucky, I was sent this putting mat and this one's quite cool, it's variable speed. So you can, it's like fast in one direction, slower in the other direction. So it's kind of got like four different stints and I think that's, um, I think that's pretty cool. Um, but uh, just having something down that um, you can just start getting the ball rolling. Um, but like I say, mechanics don't aim at a hole. And to be honest, uh, when I'm working on my mechanics, um, for every time I hit a putt, you're probably better off just standing, just getting a sense without the ball, doing lots of practice strokes. Um, especially if stroke length is your problem. Uh, Dave Peltz um, used to do a good drill. So this is a Dave Peltz drill. It's like get two cushions and then just kind of get used to doing that size. So if you think your stroke is too big, you know, just put a couple of cushions down or um, what, you, what you can do, and again, if, if, we're, not, if we're not hitting shots, put two, two golf balls and just get the feeling of getting in between. Um, I think uh, the reason why a lot of golfers struggle with putting is it's a really small movement. So. If you feel more comfortable, the further you get away from the hole, sometimes there's less pressure because up close we feel like we need to hold more than maybe we currently are. Or sometimes we actually try to hold more than actually is possible. But um, if we have a stroke that's too big, um, think about it, you've got a three footer, you end up having to decelerate, that makes the putter um, start wobbling around. So again, not the most interesting of drills, but just getting that feeling in between. Um, once I've got past the mechanics, I'm still indoors, I'm just rolling putts, trying to get them going down the line. So again, that's why I like a putting mat because you know, you've got a nice line that you can um, try and roll balls down whilst also kind of getting a sense for the, uh, for the speeds, you see? Plus it's going to give you a nice chance to start um, getting your alignment going well. So um, that's what I would be doing. Um, 
In terms of training aids, um, a couple of training aids I've been using. Um, I have a new mirror, um, uh, Back to Basics Golf, which is, um, I really like it because it has a little kind of arc on it, so I think that's very helpful. The Pelt Key, so that's a, a smaller device, um, just gets you releasing the ball out. Again, I really like that one. And I would say like, like a mirror you're working on uh, your posture, so you're working on mechanics. So I would do that inside more. Uh, same with the, the pelts key. Pelts key kind of gets you rolling off, so you, can, you could maybe say you could use that one outside a bit more. And again, a mirror, if I'm using the mirror outside, don't have a problem with that, but I'm not going to go crazy with it. Because I want to be, if I've got any technical ideas, I do it here. And then when I'm outside, I'm just trying to hit putts. Um, the one other thing that I would say you could do, and um, some of these uh, mats, this mat, actually you can put a bit of break into your, uh, your putting mat. Um, a lot of people have a stroke bias, and what that means is they're either better at right to left putts or left to right putts. The myth is right-handed golfers prefer right to left putts because they can kind of send the ball out. Um, maybe I shouldn't call it a myth. Um, you probably find the majority do like that from a visual standpoint. But um, if you have a alignment bias that doesn't suit that, um, you'll struggle with them and you'll, uh, you'll prefer left to righters. If that's the case, I'm trying to work on the bias that I don't like. And uh, that can be a really good one to do inside. Um, I used to really struggle with downhill left to righters. Um, I had a stroke bias. I used to aim. I used to actually aim too far to the right. So wherever I thought I was aiming, I was aiming further right. So as you can imagine, a right to left part, I would be the guy. I would feel comfortable doing that. You gave me a left to righter, and I would really, really struggle. So again, if you have a mat. Um, a lot of these mats will allow you to um, actually, you know, put something down so you create break. Um, you can try and do it yourself if your mat doesn't do that. Or, if you are using your carpet, um, you'll find that there's quite a few breaks on your carpet. Um, don't be surprised that your carpet isn't completely flat. But uh, I hope this video has helped. Um, indoors is the way forward when you're working on mechanics. Um, next time I will probably wear a collar, but I'm at home, so I want it to be relaxed. So, get some comments down below. Not too much about what I'm wearing, but uh, how do you practice? And something um, I have certainly found, I used to be a very, very average putter, and now I'm actually pretty good. I feel, I feel pretty confident on the greens. Um, one of my regrets as an amateur is I actually spent too much time practicing. And I probably spent too much time trying to hold putts, didn't work enough on pace, and uh, basically hit too many putts. So my confidence was always dropping because if you hit 100 putts, you're going to miss a bunch. If you already feel not particularly comfortable, uh, every time you miss, your confidence goes down. Um, Justin Thomas made the comment, I think it was last year or the year before, similar comment. So I'm, I, was, I felt like I was actually practicing my putting too much. So if you're working, you know, if golf is not your living, um, putting is actually a really easy one to maintain. Again, all you need is a putting mat, five minutes a day, you know, groove that stroke. And when you get out on the putting green, try and hold a few, just get the pace and you can actually be very, very successful with just a little bit of maintenance. So uh, I hope this video has helped. As always, thanks for watching. Stay happy, stay safe. Hope to catch you soon.